All right, what's going on, New Canoe Nation? Welcome back again for the next installment here at ICAST 2022. We got the man, the myth, the legend here, Mr. Uh, Blake Young. We're going to talk about the Quick Connect system. So Blake's going to give us a run through of all the different components that interact with the Quick Connect system. So Blake. All right, Brian, thank you. I hope you all have been enjoying the content here from the show. It's been a great start to ICAST. It's always nice when the AC comes on in this building, so I'm not sweating buckets. Um, but yeah, the Quick Connect, you know, we're super pumped about it. Um, you can see our shirts today say Quick Connect, and really it's what kind of allows the, the really easy setup and interchange between paddle, pedal, and power on the new canoe kayaks. Quick Connect was really um, uh, created with the pivot drive. When we had the pivot drive and we're thinking, okay, how are we going to steer this thing? How are we going to mount this thing? That was the evolution of it, um, and it formed the basis of the pivot drive with the steering handle and the transom assembly. And then once the pivot drive was out, then we started scratching our heads and say, man, we could do so much more with this. And we could have, instead of having a prop shaft back here, we could have a torpedo motor back here. What if we could have a rudder back here or a different motor set up? And so over the last year, you know, kind of, I guess two years ago over the last year, we just really kind of went through that and figured it all out. So that now with the Quick Connect system, on any new canoe kayak, you can set it up for paddle, pedal, or power without having to drill any holes in the kayak and making it really easy to interchange between them. So if there's a day where you want to float a river with the rudder on, and then the next day you want to get on a lake with the motor, you can do that in a matter of minutes. Or if you're fishing tournaments and some allow motors and some don't allow motors, you can have the the pivot drive and the EPS motor and in less than five minutes transition your kayak from pedal to power. It's a really killer setup. You know, it's awesome for our dealers too because they're not having to sit here and say, oh, I'm going to order X pedal kayaks and paddle kayaks. Right, right. The customer comes in and says, all right, you want to limit it? Okay, let's get to work. What do you, what want, do you want set, set up, up on this thing? thing? And they can do that. Yeah. It's, it's been a beauty. I mean, me personally, I switch back and forth from uh, the EPS PS motor to the XI3 in the front. Um, I mean, the XI3 is a little bit different, but I, I mean, the option for the guys with the XI3 to run a rudder in the back has been super cool it, to see uh, in action along with the foot pedal steering. Too. Definitely. And that rudder system, that's something that kind of had sketched out for years and with the quick connect, it just, it all fell into place using the exact same hardware that's already, you know, existing for the other setups and just putting a rudder blade in there essentially instead of a motor. Another real nice benefit of it, even if you're always running an EPS or always running a pivot drive, it allows you to just take that thing on and off real quickly. Yeah. I mean, we'll get around the other side and you can see what a torpedo looks like when it's off. I mean, you got the motor with your mount and you got your throttle and your battery, you can carry the whole setup in one hand and it weighs about eight pounds. Right. So it really just simplifies the day-to-day -day use of these systems, even if you're only using one of them. And another great benefit, any new canoe owner, you know, whether you have a 2012 Frontier 12, a 2015 Pursuit, you have the ability to add any of these things that we're showing onto your kayak real easily, just as we have on display here at ICAST. Well, where do you want to start, my man? Well, we're starting behind here on the, uh, on the Westbrook custom build. We have the uh, Quick Connect system set up. Um, and one thing we didn't even touch on yet is foot steering. Yeah. So the Quick Connect with, uh, with any of these systems, well, except for the pedal drive, you can have the option of hand steering or foot steering. And the foot steering came out about four or five months ago. Everybody who has used it is like, wow, this is amazing. I love foot steering. It's so intuitive. It's so simple. Your hands are free. Your deck is clear. It's a really nice setup. Well, not only that, like using the foot steering, in one of my old kayaks, I had the foot steering with two pedals. With that pivot on your ankle, it is so easy. Uh, just a couple of days ago, we were fishing Felsmere here in Florida, known for big bass, and just cruising around with that. I spent more time casting and fishing than I did, you know, steering with my hand or, you know, trying to jostle around pedals and stuff. That pedal system is the smoothest pedal system for steering that I've ever experienced. And I've been in a lot of kayaks. Yeah, it's just, you know, extend your toe, retract it, you know, all on your calf and your ankle, yeah. and you're steering that thing. And fine tuning control too. I mean, you can adjust it just a little bit to keep that, you know, keep your kayak going in the right direction, control your movement, control your drift and positioning. 
And, I, and I'm a guy that likes to stand and fish. And one thing I've done is with the EPS in the back, I'll have it running at 10, 12% cruising around, along a weed line. And I could still, because of the bump outs on the pedal, steer with my left foot as I'm going along fishing. It's beautiful. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you just, you know, just maintain that position, maintain yeah. that heading. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it's, you know, it's got, it's fun to go full speed on motors in the kayak. Sure. But so much of the value in the systems is how well they perform for those fine tuning yeah. adjustments. You know, when you're trying to stay on one line, stay on one heading, keep your kayak facing a certain direction. Well, and that's just it as fishermen, right? We, you know, we're so focused on keeping our lure in the water for the most amount of time possible to make for the best possibilities of catching a fish out on the water. And that does it for you. Definitely. Yeah, for definitely. Sure. So, yeah. So like we said, this is the, uh, this is the foot steering um, set up the, the foot pedal and mounted in the track in front of the seat with the steering cable running back. And then on this one, we have the rudder system set up. So if we pop this off, pull out that bolt works better to dis disconnect this we got tension on there you can uh there's the rudder then everything that's left behind is just the core component of the quick connect system that the the, uh, the pivot drive or the um the eps motor or the torpedo motor could plug into So we drop that back on. When you're under pressure on live streaming, it's hard to find the hole, you know? There you go. But yeah, even when you fumble it, it's still pretty simple. So get that back on, connect the steering. Connect the pull up, connect the pull up, and away you go. So that's the rudder system. The nice thing about this, fully retracts up out of the water, up over the kayak. Easy to deploy. It has the kick up release. So that's one uh, setup on the uh, on the quick connect system with the rudder. You can walk around here and see it with the uh, with the pivot drive. Take a look at the pivot drive here, guys. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you can't buy. Yeah. So on the pivot drive again, we got the uh, this time with my hand steering clearly with the with a pedal drive system. We got to keep our feet feet for pedaling. So we got the hand steering mounted on the side here. This goes into inserts, so no drilling here. And then the same transom assembly off the back. And um, again with the quick connect, pull one pin, and that thing comes off. So if you uh, spend a little time with this, you'll understand why we call it quick connect could have called it quick disconnect too i yeah. guess <laughs> i mean it's it's effortless you know one pin everything comes off swaps out to a different system right and so if we wanted to put a rudder on here all we'd have to do is pull off that pivot drive like i showed you and we could bring that rudder drop it right on and connect it to the retract cord connect it to the transom bracket and we'd have a rudder on there very cool another option for the uh for the quick connect is the eps motor Hey guys, can we have you shift this way? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Got a lot of people here in the booth at ICAST checking out all the cool stuff. So, right. So, again, the foot steering and coming back now to the EPS motor. But again, the same uh, same quick connect assembly on the transom, and the same functionality for retracting that, for removing it, and exchanging things. So, makes it real simple. You can see we have the Torquedo set up over here, and that's kind of what it looks like if you pull it off the kayak. You just got that simple little uh, motor mount. If you're familiar with Torquedo, you know the standard Torquedo mount is a lot more bulk, a lot more weight, a lot more awkward than that. So it really is uh, super simple. Very cool, man. Uh, super excited about the Quick Connect system. It's it's cool to see all the different attachments, the different things you can do. And I'm looking forward to the future, man. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this system, you know? Yeah, what else could be connected to a Quick Connect, huh? <laughs> Start brainstorming. Yeah. So we're figuring that out. Um, it's good stuff, guys. Uh, all this stuff is available on newcanoe.com or at your local dealers. 
be sure to go check it out. I mean, Blake, anything else you want to add? I know we're doing a Q and A at the end of the show, but uh, other than that, in regards to the Quick Connect system, anything you want to add in there? No, I think we covered it. It's um, you know, if you want to have the option to to pedal or power your kayak, you know, if you're not a new canoe owner and saying, hey, maybe some days I want to pedal or I don't know where I want to be in a year, you know, the versatility of our kayaks with the Quick Connect system allows you to have the potential to do it all. Yeah. If you're already a new canoe owner, you know what you want. It's a really simple system to use. It's easy on the initial setup. You're not drilling holes in your kayak. Easy to take off. It just, uh, it's, it's just a great system. It's super simple, and it works really well. Awesome. All right, guys. We'll see you back here shortly. Again, ICAST is crazy. Schedules change all the time. I know we were running late with this one, but I know I see uh, John Ost back there in the background. Uh, we got him coming up next, talking about the Flint at 1 o'clock. And then at 2 o'clock, we'll be talking to Romel about this custom unlimited build. And then 4 o'clock with Fletch Griffin from uh, Westbrook Supply. And uh, we'll get those tallies on whose build was your favorite. So make sure you guys are uh, voting on that, both on the Instagram, the Facebook story. Uh, you can also vote on the actual video that we posted up last night of the two welded together. And we'll give those results at the end of the day today. Blake, thank you as always. Uh, it's great to be here. So, all right, Brian, thank you. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks, guys.